defending our missing heroes back with the third installment of the Dinobot piece. Swoop. I mean, Logan, the reflection of the screen. I gotta get really good on those monitors where I can, uh, where I can <clears throat> capture the screen as opposed to filming it. Put that on the to-do list. Those applications, I guess. So anyway, I've mentioned in the past I don't like doing weapons. Um, Swoop's wings are like giant weapons, so. Plus I got the sword, so like 50% of this part of the Dinobot piece is all weapons. So needless to say, he was uh, my least favorite to do. And uh, the weapons is just actually part of it. There's, there's more to it than that. Um, this is sped up 1500%, uh, took about four hours. So they're all taking me around about four hours. Uh, slag was a little bit longer as I was just kind of working on the details, but uh, it's about four hours. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this commentary because uh, the app I was using failed and I uh, opened it when I went to stop it. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, it kind of rough day going to the weather. So, you know, it's one of those things. It's obviously the worst is going to happen when you're going to swing apart Murphy's Law. I feel like Murphy's my cousin sometimes. Anyway, back to Swoop. So, a lot of grays. Uh, it was kind of nice with this little sword bit here to have this, uh, the, the hilt of the sword running up through the crease of the metal so that I didn't have to isolate both parts. I could hit both and use the uh, sword hilt as uh, to catch the overflow. <laughs> so, the bonus. Um, yeah. I've said this before working you know when you're working with a lot of grays it's, uh, it's a challenge to keep everything interesting interesting to look at swoop actually uh, it took me a long time to draw as well the, the initial goal was to make it look like it just landed it's flying you know, down, transform, landed, sword to the ground. That's why the ground is cracked below the sword to make it look like it's impact the landing. <laughs> um, it took me forever to draw it. Just getting the pose right. I always do thumbnails before I draw. Um, so just getting the pose right was, uh, and I had no problem with thumbnail. Actually nailing it in the, in the, in the real drawing was painful. To me about eight hours. Draw this yeah, well, just the two pencils. There's a lot of erasing. I'm sure I went through layers of paper. Erasing. So it's been kind of troublesome the entire time. This light gray doing this here on the top of the hand part. And once again, it's just to split up the grays. You know, and just make the all the gray look a little bit more dynamic. <laughs> I got a sinus infection. I, I get them at this time of year, like clockwork. And I got a wife upstairs who has had a pretty rough day. It's just a thirty-something problem. Anyway, so the red, the red is a bit of a story because, uh, you know, this G1 cartoon uh, image, he hit a blue chest and the toy was red. <clears throat> and uh, I went back and forth. Um, wasn't sure what the right call was. I, I eventually went with the red and I did that because uh, to give it a cohesive feel, like it's part of the team since most of them, you know, none of the other ones had blue, it was straight blue in there just to make it feel a little bit more like part of a team you know? uh the comics he does the red and you know, the video games he's in the red and this boy was red so you know the dinobots have always kind of been you know about the dinobots first and foremost and then um, you know everything else was secondary you know, including the autobot cause so but like you know one of the things we're trying to do with defending our missing heroes is, is really uh nailing down you know the truths of the truths of the characters. So, 
feel like the red is a little bit more true to character. It shows a little bit more of a uniform of people. And I'm usually pretty accurate with the cartoon stuff. Like I always do blue eyes as opposed to red eyes with the, you know, the Autobots, especially here in the Dinobot section. Um, you know, Frenzy is red and Rumble is blue to me. I know Transformer fans get really heat up about such stuff, but uh, just uh, felt like red was the right decision. I'm not sure if it is or isn't, but we'll see. This little part here with all these little squares on the shoulders that run down the chest was a pain. A lot of stuff that's tedious, um, you know, it's, 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 it's trying to get through it, and then you get through it, it's rewarding, so it kind of pays off. Not the case with this part. This part was just trying and not really that rewarding. Um, you don't really feel like you got your bang for your buck with it. But, uh, you know, not that it looks bad, but you know, the amount of time it took just to do this section. It looks amazing. It just looks presentable. But it looks fair, fair enough. Good. I remember uh, as a kid, you know, I, I bought the Dinobots. My dad bought them for me out of a JCPenney catalog <laughs> around Christmas time. Um, and actually, at our JCPenney, it's like you could bring the catalog to the store and tell them what you wanted, and they had kids behind the desk or whatever, and they brought them out. That's how I got my Dinobots. I think my dad even came to the road. How excited I was about it. <clears throat> Now you see this little square I carve out right above the pelvis and I carved uh, two squares out of the chest and I do those blue right there. I do those blue um, just to kind of tip the hat to the G1 cartoon where it was blue chest. You know, just to kind of say, look, I, I am aware of that. You know, I just uh, just had to make a decision. And the decision I went with was red. And it was, even if it's, you know, even if it fails, you know, it failed for all the right reasons. It wasn't out of laziness or not knowing the character or not knowing what to do. So, you know, trying to pay homage to the character correctly. Uh, you know, I've told you guys in the past, I, I don't like really doing fingers on Transformers either. There's so many different planes that you got to do. It just you know, takes forever. Um, well, with Swoop, it's the fingers of him, you know, the robot, and also the talons of the uh, pterodactyl. So it's like double the trouble. Um, so yeah, overall, this was not an enjoyable one to color, in the least. But uh, it ended up looking good. So, I was pretty disappointed. Once again, just the three different shades of gray, just to keep it a little interesting. So you just don't get lost in a sea of gray. You see now the knuckles are one of, you know the knuckles are one of those things where they are trying their pain, um, but they do you know, get them shadowed and lit. You know, they are pretty rewarding. You know, unlike the uh, those like chest bars. I just got back from Baltimore Comic Con. And it's probably why I'm sick from shaking hands with so many different people. Um, and if you know me, you know I, I gotta always bite my nails or something too. So I'm sure that all that's tied together. But anyway, um, but you know it was awesome to meet a lot, you know a bunch of new people, and uh, you know people were really receptive to the Transformer stuff, and that's awesome because I, I really enjoy doing it. And as long as people enjoy the work, then I'll stick with it. It's Comic Con. I expected to sell like a lot of my like Poison Ivy and Harley stuff and all that kind of stuff, but I, I sold out of almost all of my Transformers stuff. So that's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I appreciate everybody for coming out and checking out the table and all that kind of stuff. I think we're gonna be back next year, back with the vengeance.
good times. My daughter got a Skylink. G1 Skylink, so that's pretty awesome. My daughter's actually a huge Dinobot fan also, which is pretty cool because, uh, you know, I wanted to do these guys anyway, but you know, the fact that she's a fan kind of makes it all that much more uh, pleasurable. And, uh, I think it's the fact that they were like, you know, they were cool and they weren't in every episode, you know, like Batgirl and Adam West Batman series, it was like special when they were on. As a kid, you like, oh man, it's a, it's a Dinobot episode. <sighs> You know, and the fact that they turn to dinosaurs in real life, so that's just brilliant. You know, get a kid's attention. It'd be better. Maybe if they turn into dinobots and robots and sharks, maybe. But, be brilliant. And they were cool. You know? so, I'm really looking forward to getting this one done. Actually, a lot of people were asking me about this one at the show, so, you know, when is it going to be done? And when is it? So, I, I, I tell people, like, look, I'm going to a dinobot piece, you know. They were you know, pretty excited. So that's awesome. There's those knuckles. I mean, you know, but they look really, they look really sharp when they're lit like that. Bang for your buck. Yeah. <laughs> I actually got a shadow on it. So. It's another like a uh, positive aspect of doing these videos, you know, you get to see, uh, get to watch yourself do it and see if you gotta go back and touch up and finish. There's that blue I was talking about. It's blue accents on the chest and on the bones to uh, uh, pay homage to the G1 cartoon image. Yeah, thing we're trying to do here is a trample on the mythology. And we're all about the mythology. So we're back by getting good at that too. Not well not good, but getting efficient and efficient. Sounds pretty pretentious to say. That's <laughs> sword there's a sword between a sword and the wings, it's like this guy's all weapons. Which makes them cool, you know, it makes them BA, but uh, I don't know why, I think it's just like, I don't know why. I paint miniatures too, and I hate painting weapons. I just always save it for last and kick myself for it. I do like how it's the split plane here and highlight both sides kind of makes it look like two different sections of the sword. I do like how that turned out. I didn't do any flaming of the sword to this one like I did with Snarl. So I'm not sure if I like the way the Snarl's turned out. Mine too, really. Yeah, it's a special hero with these. All the effects. Clean up the effects. Went overboard on the eyes a little bit, and then had to go back and redo it. Just too bright. Put on the, yeah, I, I got rid of that. A little more subtle. Worked better. Adjusting my levels. Got another one done. Two to go. See you next week. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Take care.